with a review of some regression line crossover case studies performed on July 10th, 2013. Uh, we started off the day looking at XIV. Uh, we had a core and turbo trade on here where uh, we had a core position overnight based on uh, the risk index where we're examining the characteristics of the VIX 30 period and 10 period moving average and suffice it to say that um, the volatility drying up created an opportunity for a swing trade so we had a position on overnight uh, with an appropriate overnight risk. Uh, this was the close on um, last Friday and then had a nice gap open so we're in the money uh, on that trade. Uh, nothing much was happening during the day. Um, came back from a meeting and took a look at this what looked to me to be sideways quiet channel at um, 90 minutes into the session. You can see at 90 minutes into the session uh, using the 30 period Bollinger Bands um, we are only using intraday data um, and that's why there's a dramatic uh, reduction in the uh, size of the Bollinger Band. The river being the dark blue, the floodplains being the light blue, uh, VWAP is the purple line, uh, 30 period regression line is black, 90 period regression line is green, 30 period uh, simple moving average is the center of the Bollinger Band, that's in red, and then a 200 period regression line. Uh, uh, so we're looking at some longer term time frames here. Uh, so once we got into this true sideways quiet channel here, we've got the regression lines and price uh, both inside the river, um, the 30 are the uh, the prices inside the river the Bollinger Bands are pinched that's a definition of sideways quiet channel uh, I played this entry here at uh, 22.29 with a 30 cent stop um, and with the expectation that if it gets above 22.42 um, another 15 cents or so then I would expect it really to take off because it would have cleared the high of the day uh, in uh, actual effect. This is a zoom in so you can see the uh, the price action a little easier. Same uh, same trade here, 2239. Uh, however, uh, price did not leave the river. It reverses and starts going lower. As it leaves the river into the floodplain, uh, I exit here at 2220 uh, for a 9 cent loss on 30 cent risk, about uh, minus 0.3 R. Uh, and this generates a stop and reverse into UVXY, you, not surprisingly, it, it had a sharp gap down, had sideways quiet channel, and it starts taking off. And so we're in here at 57.05 uh, with a 50 cent stop, which puts a, a stop below the river. Uh, that one also fails. It, uh, it leaves the river, uh, leaves the floodplain, and then rolls over sharply, uh, comes back into the river, and exit here. Uh, at 56.80 so for a minus 0.5 R loss. Um, one thing we notice is that uh, uh, I'm uh, looking for a either a, a big failure here as it leaves the floodplain or a sharp reversal. Um, we play the stop and reverse on uh, XIV and uh, so what I'm looking for here is I'm still considering this to be sideways quiet channel with finding support at the floodplain and so I'm looking for a swing low a closed bar with a higher low and then on the second uh, green bar with a higher low I'm looking to buy the uh, the breakout of the previous green candle and that's what we have here we have a swing low outside of the river uh, outside of the floodplain with um, uh, the ribbon outside of the floodplain as well. That looks like an extreme condition, so I'm playing for a return to the far side of the river, possibly to the edge of the floodplain. Uh, and uh, so I make the entry here at 22.26. With, I'm using a 10 cent stop. Uh, it moves through the Bollinger Band mean, leaves the river, gets to the floodplain, uh, starts to decay here, and because I'm down uh, minus 0.3 and minus 0.5. Uh, I decide to go ahead and exit here and get paid uh, at 22.36. Normal oscillation. Uh, that was that was this trade here. There's a, another pullback. 
this time outside the river into the floodplain. And we, I noticed this great big spike uh, right here. I was not quick enough to play the, the uh, Anderson regression line stretch, which would have uh, had an entry here, uh, get to no lose quickly, and would have been able to cash something here. Uh, wasn't quick enough, and I didn't want to chase. Uh, so it all spiked up through the river and floodplain and beyond here. Pulled back, found support at the uh, Bollinger Band mean, and now what we've got is a, uh, a low, a higher low with support in a generally uptrending market. You can see that the 90 period regression line wants to pull it north. Uh, so we make the entry here at 22.35. Uh, again, a 10 cent stop uh, just below the Bollinger Band mean and the VWAP in this case. Um, it, this one takes off, uh, and we're um, uh, managing it all the way up here with a relaxed stop of the Bollinger Band uh, mean right here, the middle of the river. And I like the fact that it's got a, a low, a higher 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 low, and taken off. And at uh, 2252, with an entry at 2237, we're 1.7R in hand. And, uh, and I'm tightening up my stop here, but I'm also getting ready to stock uh, a second entry if it breaks above the uh, ribbon uh, swing high right here. I'm ready to get a, then I would consider this to be a good candidate for a follow-on position because we'd have two, uh, two R in hand with momentum. Uh, so th that happens. Uh, we get the second entry here at 22.55, right on 2R with uh, 2R in hand with momentum. Uh, gets all the way to 22.70. Uh, starts to roll over. Uh, it's getting towards uh, the afternoon. I'm feeling full. Got the regression line crossover occurring. Go ahead and cash this one here at 22.65. Uh, and so from 22.35 to 65 on a 10 cent risk is 3R, and then. Uh, I'm sorry, that should read, that's a one additional R. That should read 4R, my bad. Uh, so 4R in this trade. So uh, the first three trades were kind of mucking around, trying to get traction uh, slightly in the money after the end of three trades. Uh, two losers, one winner, slightly ahead for the day, and then just staying with it. Uh, and then this one works and uh, brings in another 4R for uh, good trading on the day. I've uh, been trading volatility lately, and I just want to share this one with you. Uh, thanks to Bob Rourke out in Colorado Springs. Uh, we've been looking at uh, the volatility ETFs in different time frames, and we're really liking what we see with a two-hour chart right here. It makes the, uh, the extremes turn out to be uh, very extreme and clearly marked in smooth rebounds. And this uh, latest move here in XIV uh, featuring a you know, price well outside of the uh, floodplain, and then a regression line crossover around 18 and a quarter uh, has moved up to 22 and a half, uh, so four and a quarter, uh, really in about uh, eight uh, eight trading days, uh, a 25 percent move roughly. So we're really liking the way that this demarcates uh, boundaries and extreme conditions. Uh, we're getting into nosebleed territory here on this move because we're well outside of the floodplain everything's pointing north and in fact the 200 period regression line is the final thing to roll over and start to hook back up to. Uh, a pullback would not be unusual. I would expect something around uh, 21 to hold um, if this is going to continue and uh, drain volatility. So we're going to be watching this carefully uh, but it would be uh, I think the easier money is made already on the uh, on the volatility trade. The nice thing about this is this is the first move really uh, beyond the 200, all of these other ones uh, have been hitting and, and oscillating here. Uh, and then this is really the first one that held support and took off. This was a really nice tr uh, trade sequence through here where it found support uh, on the north shore of the river. So the two hour charts on XIV, it looks the same on uh, UVXY or VXX, and it's worth your attention. Anytime we get these spikes outside of the floodplain, uh, those are really important moments. And that's what I'm, I'm treating this one as, uh, as a potential for a sharp reversal. Anyway, Ken Long from Tortoise Capital, July, this is July, morning of July 11th. We're getting ready to trade here. And uh, we'll see you in the chat room. Keep your powder dry and your risk measured.